and welcome to Larissa's Kitchen. It's been a long time since I've made bread, and tonight I'm making one of my favorites, Hawaiian sweet bread. This is a delightfully sweet bread that works well just by itself or even as French toast. And to give it that authentic shape, I'm using an 8 inch casserole aluminum foil pan rather than loaf pans. Let's see what we're going to need. We need two cups of pineapple juice. Now it's best to just use the canned. If you use fresh, you're gonna to have to heat it to 180 degrees and then let it cool down. Otherwise, it's just gonna destroy your wheat protein. We need both white sugar and brown sugar. We have wheat gluten and potato starch. You could also use potato flakes or potato flour. You just have to measure it by weight. We have kosher salt and two packages of yeast, or about two tablespoons. I have a whole stick of butter and two eggs. These are large, but any size would work. And last but not least, five to six cups of all-purpose flour. This bread is getting put together the same way I make all my bread, with a sponge. Our liquid needs to be heated to between 110 and 120 degrees. Then it gets added to the mixing bowl with two cups of flour, the white sugar, the wheat gluten, the potato starch, the yeast, and the salt. That gets mixed until it's completely smooth. Then we add in the brown sugar and the butter. That gets mixed until the butter's melted and then we add in the eggs one at a time. That stays on the mixer for four to six minutes. Once that's done, we scrape down the sides and change from the paddle to the dough hook. I'm adding in close to three cups of flour. That's gonna mix on low with the dough hook until this dough forms a ball. Now we're gonna continue to add in just a little bit of flour at a time until the dough pulls away from the bowl. This whole process can take over 20 minutes, so be patient. If you rush it, you're gonna end up with a cake-like texture rather than a bread texture. dough is still very soft, but it's no longer sticky. This is going over to the dry granite. It's getting kneaded into a ball shape, and then it's going in a greased bowl and into my unheated oven over a pan of hot water. This needs to rise until it's doubled in size, which can take up to three hours. This dough is nice and puffy, so we can punch it down and divide it into three even pieces. Mm -hmm. 
These are getting rolled into a ball and then I'm pressing them flat and putting them in the bottom of these greased pans. These pans are going back into that unheated oven to rise until they've domed well over the sides of the casserole pan. And that can take over two hours as well. Normally I bake my bread at a 375 degree oven, but my oven is running a little bit aggressively, so I've had to bump this down to 350. It is getting cooked with the convection oven on for 35 minutes. Once these come out of the oven, we're going to take them out of the pan and let them cool completely. It's time to give our Hawaiian sweet bread a taste. Now this has cooled completely and I've topped it with just a little bit of butter. It smells so good. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Hold on, what was I doing? Thank you for visiting Larissa's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give the like button a click and don't forget to leave a comment. We're always happy to hear from you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and don't keep us a secret. Share our videos with your friends and family. You can follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pics and videos and on Twitter for upcoming videos and the random cat picture.